Okay. If you're here, you're probably like I was 19 years ago. You're not feeling good about yourself, you're dealing with addiction, and you don't know where to go. I'm Tom with Embrace Recovery, and if you're here, I know that you're probably in distress, wondering what to do about your addiction. I think the most important thing to understand is there is hope, and recovery is possible. We work with people like you all the time that feel like, uh, I'm just never going to get it. We don't use the word chronic relapse. I, we believe that you have as much chance as anybody else. So I want to tell you a little bit about Embrace Recovery so you kind of have an idea of, of what's possible. And I know if, if you're anything like I was when I was looking for help, you're not quite sure where to go, who to go to, as well as being embarrassed about asking for help. And um, believe me, just by you searching for what's out there, says you're ready. I'm, and I'm Michael Finch, um, certified alcohol and drug counselor, and I've been working in the field for about 20 years with a passion. We had worked together for about 10 years and decided we wanted our own individualized program because we both have such a passion for it, so we put this together about a year and a half ago. Embrace Recovery, and um, the name fits what we do. I am more than willing to kind of like meet you where you're at and help you kind of develop the tools that can help you lead a better life than what you've been doing. I mean, obviously what you've been doing isn't working or you wouldn't be looking for help right now. And um, as Tom and I, you know, came together a year and a half ago of developing our, this program, we really searched hard to find a word that described what we wanted to do, and that's where we came up with the name Embrace Recovery. And one evening as we were talking about it, we said, that's it. That's what we want to teach you, is how to embrace your life, embrace recovery. We know from experience that fear of negative consequences is a good motivator to get us started in recovery, but it's not a good enough one to keep us sober. And we want you to experience quality sobriety where you enjoy being sober and you enjoy who you are and that best part of you and that magic that comes out when addiction is you know, put in its place. This is a very powerful disease and we put together a program that we, we feel is personal. We want this to be a personal experience. We keep our group small because we want you to feel like you're the most important person in this room. We want you to have time to talk and we want to be able to find out what's going on with you as the individual. And, and along those lines, I want to say, if you've been through any other programs in the past and you've you know, slept and had some, a little bit of time and so on and so forth, you may find that this program may be just what you need to kind of get that, that jump on recovery because we do keep it a small group we are individualized um, and we even say you know on weekends give us a call check in with us let us know how you're doing we treat each we treat you like a person rather than just another client coming through treatment we treat you as you deserve to be treated like an individual who has an individual spirit with a desire for that to come alive when I first got sober I wasn't I didn't necessarily behave always as an adult, <laughs> but I certainly wanted to be treated as an adult and that's what we that's what we do. We treat people 18 and older and we want to treat you as adults because you are an adult. And, I mean, and, and, I, and I get that feeling of I want what I want when I want it, that kind of like adolescent behavior and that's that addictive side of us that I know for me still comes alive after 22 years of recovery. I still want what I want when I want it. Um, which is probably why I relate so much to, to addicts and alcoholics coming into treatment that are still in touch with that I want what I want kind of thinking, that poor impulse control. And that's the gift that I nurture is trying to help you develop some new tools so you don't have to act on your impulses. So you can begin to kind of learn some adult-like coping mechanisms, which for some of you may be new. It's so important for us to recognize that there's a difference between how I behaved when I was under the influence and who I am as a person. And recovery is a, here is about finding out who you really are, that person that you feel good about, and that you feel proud of, and that you want to be and you want to continue. And that's what draws us forward, is wanting to embrace our recovery, is really loving who we are today and, and finding that out. We don't come in that way, and so there's so much shame involved 
in the behaviors that we did when we were using it, but that's not who we are. And, and speaking of the, the shame for the family members, I know when dealing with family that you feel a lot of shame and guilt and anger about what's going on with your loved ones. And the beauty that we are able to offer in our program is meeting individually with our family therapist for a minimum of eight sessions. Usually she'll meet for about four sessions just with you, the family member, and then bring in um, your loved one to start to mend things up. So you feel important, so you feel heard for their at full hour. And a lot of our families continue on with our family therapist, Rosemary. I worked with family groups for over 10 years, and it's so important if you hear nothing else I'm saying, for you family members out there, you didn't cause this, you can't control it, and you can't cure it. But you can be involved in the recovery process. This is a family disease, and when family members are involved in the treatment process, it's much more successful. That's why we have our family therapist on board, and you'll meet with her individually, not in a group with other family members really allowing you to talk about things that maybe you wouldn't talk about in a group. And we feel that that's important for you to finally be able to say some of the things that you need to say to heal some of the wounds that you have and to rediscover your loved one that is an amazing person with a disease. For any, any treatment professionals, you know, if you're looking for extended treatment for your client, we really work really well with um, continuing to communicate with the treatment professionals that have referred to us, um, as well as the court systems that have referred to us, as well as employers that have referred to us. Um, matter of fact, frequently we'll do monthly reports for the people that have referred them. What I want you to know is when you start our program, you become part of a family. Embrace Recovery is a small program and it's very much like a family. The group is set up pretty much like a living room, drinking coffee out of your own cup and, and being able to, to talk and, and to be able to learn about addiction and all the things about it. You know, communication skills, anger management, stress management, self-esteem, there are so many issues to be addressed. And we really have the time to do that because we keep the group small. Our program is an eight-week program. The average stay in our program is about 10 weeks or more. Yeah. And we allow that with no additional cost because we want people to be treated individually and to address those needs individually. They become part of our family. Really. Absolutely. You become really connected with each other in a very in a way that's much more intimate than maybe what you've experienced or might expect to experience. You might think you're going to be in a group of, you know, 15, 20 people and and really kind of disappear in there. We don't want that to happen. I've, I've worked in treatment for close to 20 years now and a lot of the treatment that I've done has been large groups where people, you know, they need to be treated like, like you know, it's a cookie cutter because there's so many people coming through. And that's what I love about the fact that Tom and I have opened up this is this way we, I can do what I do best and treat people with the love and respect, treat you with the love and respect that you deserve as individuals. It's so important for you to know that recovery is possible and not just being sober and being in recovery but to be able to enjoy it otherwise what's the point it's not enough about just not getting out of and leaving bad situations and bad behaviors behind but really embracing who we are and enjoying enjoying life again and enjoying being sober otherwise I wouldn't be doing it this uh, 19 plus years so come on down and join our family at Embrace Recovery